In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to build an application that displays near real-time data hosted in ArcGIS platform. Before getting started, I want to go over data hosting in the platform. The platform allows anyone with an ArcGIS developer or organization account to create, import, and store data as a hosted layer. Each layer is powered by a service. For instance, a hosted feature layer is a reference to a feature layer in a feature service. When stored in the platform, you can find, manage, and access the data from different tools and your custom applications. Let's get started by going to Living Atlas to search for data that we can use. The Living Atlas is a tool that allows you to search for a wide collection of geographic information. If you see any of these badges such as subscriber or premium content, that means that you need to have an ArcGIS account and be authenticated to access the layer. In this scenario, I want to find a layer that contains near real-time weather warnings to display in my app. So I'm going to search for weather warnings. I'm going to select the USA Weather Watches and Warnings feature layer by Esri Live Feeds. I can check the real-time status of these live feed layers managed by Esri by going to the status page and let's see, I'll click on the layer that I want, which is weather watches and warnings and see when it was last updated, the next update check, and also whether the service is operating as normal. Let's go to the item page for this feature layer. On the item page, I can find useful information such as the type of layer it is, in this case feature layer, its source, which is a feature service, and as I go down the page, I can find the individual feature layers that comprise this layer, such as fire forecast zones and events ordered by size and severity. By clicking on the visualization tab, I can visualize some of these uh, layers. I'm going to choose the events ordered by size and severity. I'll zoom in a little bit. I like this layer uh, because it has the different types of events. And if I click on a feature, I can find the alert. So in this case, an air quality alert and the areas that are affected by it. I want to use this layer. I need to find the service URL and also the unique ID associated with this feature layer. I'll go back to the overview page. And as I scroll down, I can find the base service URL in this box. But if I want to find the unique ID for the layer that I want, uh, in this case the events ordered by size and severity, I can click on that layer, go to its own item page, and copy the URL from this box. And note that the six refers to its unique layer ID. I can also go to its feature service page, and here I can find the metadata associated with the layer, for example the extent, all the drawing info, as well as the fields such as event, uh, so summary, and category. I'm going to copy that URL and save it for later. Now that I have the layer that I want, I want to learn how exactly I use this layer in an application. To do that, I'm going to go back to the documentation in the Mapping APIs and Services Guide and click on the examples on this Hosted Feature Layers page. I'm on the display a feature layer example and in order to add this feature layer to an application I need to create a map, get the hosted feature layer URL which I did, and then add that layer to the map. And the process for adding that feature layer to a map is generally the same throughout the APIs. For example in iOS you reference the URL and the same goes for say Mapbox, this is the feature layer URL, and also for JavaScript it's the same. Let's try adding that events ordered by size and severity feature layer to a few applications. I have scaffolded out three applications. The first was built using the ArcGIS API for JavaScript, the second was for Esri Leaflet, and the third was for the ArcGIS Runtime API for iOS. So let's get started and add that feature layer to each of these maps. Based on the steps we saw in the documentation, we need to Reference the feature layer URL. I don't need those two properties. Let me just paste that in. And then add the layer to the map. All right. And when we run our application, we'll get that feature layer. 
Let's try with Esri Leaflet. Now with Esri Leaflet it's going to be a little bit different because when we get the feature layer it's going to be returned as GeoJSON. So we won't see the same uh, rendering as we would in the JavaScript API. And there we go, the same feature layer. Now let's try iOS. I already have the topographic base map loaded, but I actually don't remember how to uh, access the feature layer. So I'm actually going to look at the documentation one more time, and I'm going to grab this little part of the code and then update this feature layer that referred to the trailheads uh, feature layer to our weather warnings layer, and I'll just change this trailheads to weather. The last thing we need to do is add that layer to the map. Operational layers, objects from. So when we rerun our application, that feature layer will be pulled in to the map. And I'm done. I created an application that displayed near real-time weather data stored as a service in ArcGIS platform. For more information about the code you've seen, I will put the mapping APIs and services documentation in the description, as well as the link to the live feed services managed by Esri. There's also a great video on geospatial data that goes in depth about other types of layers besides feature layers, which you can find in Living Atlas, and that will be linked to this video as well. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback or suggestions for future videos, please leave that in the comment section below. Thanks.